Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleSex here, and today I will be giving you guys my top 20, my personal top 20 jailbreak apps of 2010. Um, most of these apps are new. Like I said, they're my top apps. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and put those in the description below. Or if you just have any thoughts, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I mean, the comments below. All the names will be in the description along with... Uh, if I can get them links to the city store, but you can always just go ahead and search them. Um, so like I said, most of these apps are new, but um, Winterboard and SB settings are excluded just because they're so essential to jailbreak. So don't think I forgot about them. Um, that's how this theme is working right now, but um, that's just kind of a basic part of jailbreaking. So first application we have here, or a lot of these are tweaks, is the one that you guys always ask me about in videos. And that is this application, or this tweak, where when you switch pages, your icons kind of spin and curl away. Um, that's actually the name of the animation. But Barrel basically allows you to have different animations for switching between springboard pages. Um, I believe there are about five animations to choose from, so you can go ahead and check that out um, in the settings. I don't have time to show you all of them currently. But definitely check out Barrel, as it's really, really cool. Next here we have Scrolling Board. Um, scrolling board is an all-in-one like infinite doc. I mean uh, infinite doc and infinite folders kind of bundled into one and made by a different person Overall is better performance and as you can see I can scroll through my doc and they even there are even music controls to the left And if you go to the left again, you get your SB settings where you can toggle um, Like let's say display out which I'll get to later um, And just different things like that you can go ahead and quickly toggle them in another way. So very cool. It's called Scrolling Board in Cydia. I believe it's free. I can't remember exactly, but if you have SB Rotator, you might be able to get a uh, discount on it. All right, so next here we have is Folder Enhancer. Folder Enhancer, I have a folder right here and I'll have one over here. Um, it, allow, it basically enhances your folders in multiple ways. Um, first off, when you open your folders, they open much, much quicker. And you can even have, you even have the option to change the folder backgrounds, as you can see. Or if we go over here, um, you do not have the folder background. It kind of just depends. Overall, folders open quicker, and you can go ahead and swipe between things like so. Very nice, and uh, a lot of things that I don't have time to go over in this video, but Folder Enhancer is a great replacement to folders, more icons, and it's faster. All right, so next here we have 3G Unrestrictor. 3G Unrestrictor... Um, is a, one of the tweaks I use the most on my iPhone. Uh, tricks these apps to thinking they're on Wi-Fi. Um, this means that uh, you can download apps over 20 megabytes on 3G, which you might not always do, but in case you need to, you can FaceTime over 3G, and you can watch high-quality YouTube videos over 3G. It's usually, usually on YouTube it'll load a very low-quality video, and it's all blurry, and it's kind of hard to show people the video if it's all blurry. So just tricks all these applications, you can always add more to thinking they're on Wi-Fi. Definitely a really cool application, 3G Unrestrictor. On these next two tweaks, I can, I'm not actually able to show you, but I'll go ahead and describe them and just give you a brief overview. First here we have is Display Out. Um, that was that toggle down, that toggle over there that I was showing you. Um, basically... It allows you, if you have a cable made by Apple, I think it has to be made by Apple, I'm not sure. You can go ahead and plug your iPhone into your TV and then port the entire OS um, onto your TV. Everything you do will be live streamed onto the TV with little to no lag. So it's basically what Apple uses at their keynotes, and it's very cool. You can even have the option to show your taps, and um, just like I said, it's really cool so you can go ahead and plug stuff in. It's an alternative to AirPlay, just a wired alternative so you don't have to stream something to an Apple TV to watch it on your TV. So very cool, works with the entire OS. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, so next year we have is uh, grab a board. Or, sorry, um, next we, my bad guys. Next we have here is synchronicity, which allows you to go ahead and plug in your um, iPhone while it's syncing and you can still use all of your applications except for the iPod app because your music might become corrupt if you're using that. So now you do not have to dread syncing your phone so you can just go ahead and plug a cable into there let it sync, do its thing while you get to use the phone. 
So that's synchronicity, and that is also another awesome application. Um, the next one we have here is Gravaboard. Um, you don't really need this. It's more of just like a hobby or a fun tweak, but I think it's really cool. So what you need to do is if you just activate it, like so, I have it with Shake. It kind of, um, it you get to play around with your icons by tilting the phone, and it basically um, enables gravity. So you can go ahead and even fling icons. I did a video on this earlier, but you can go ahead and fling icons around and um, move them around and stuff, tilt your phone. Um, it's just kind of fun to have. It works better on the iPad if your iPad's jailbroken, but um, overall it's just kind of a fun tweak to have on your phone. Next here we have is Gridlock. So if I go to this page right here, you can clearly see that I have um, spaces missing in my icon pages. If you want to do this, Gridlock allows you to um, place your icons wherever you'd like on the grid. That way you do not have to have blank icons and you can make designs like a letter or something. So I can go ahead and uh, make a C here. And as you can see, I now have a C on my iPhone. Um, you can do this with um, any page, like I said, and it works great with Iconoclasm and other tweaks like that. Definitely check out Gridlock. Next here we have is App Switcher Brightness. Um, that is that toggle right here that you guys might have been wondering what it was. It just allows you to change your screen brightness. Simple but effective because um, I always find myself changing the screen brightness and um, just really nice to have on the uh, right, nice to have on your device. Really cool and uh, it's just simple. Check that out in Cydia too. Next here we have is Icon Harvester. Icon Harvester is basically a theme like manager downloader thing. Um, you can go ahead and select a theme like Glass Cart, and you can even uh, preview what the theme will look like on your phone. See what icons it has and what icons it's missing before you actually install it. And if the icon has, let's say, or the theme has multiple icons for Cydia, excuse me, if the the theme has multiple icons for Cydia, you can choose which Cydia icon you want or which one you like the best. Um, there's more in depth to this application, but you can go ahead and check that out in Cydia too. Next year we have is iFile, another application, not necessarily brand new, but it's just awesome because it's basically finder for your iPhone. Um, very useful to browse through files, um, install .debs, and um, just do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Browse. Um, you can uh, hack games and cheat on the games if you'd like, um, like Zombieville and stuff. But overall, just a nice application to manage, move files, copy and paste. Just finder for the iPhone, and it works really well. Next here we have Mark Red. Um, don't want to go. I don't want to load that and uh, show you guys all my emails. But um, when you're in your email application, you go. You can go ahead and mark all your emails as read, or you can mark a couple. And it's really easy to mark them rather than tapping them, read them, or tapping them go back. It's just depending on how much you use email, it might or might not be helpful. But that is also um, it's just I find it to be helpful. Next here we have is my OS. We'll go ahead and go to that. My OS allows you to turn off and on different uh, various parts of iOS 4 that you may or may not use. Um, like if you have an iPod Touch, you can turn on Unified iPod, so that way you get that iPod app instead of music videos. And uh, so it just puts them together. You can turn off voice control, you can turn off multitasking, uh, home screen wallpaper, things that you don't use that will speed up your phone. Um, so it can be helpful, or if you want to enable things, however, the iPhone the iPhone 4 has everything enabled, so there's no need to do that. Um, back to the thing, um, next tweak we have here is kind of a bundle. It's basically two. I'll go ahead and actually load up my email, but whatever. Uh, it basically is pull to refresh for mail. So as you can see right there, you can go ahead and pull to refresh just like so, just like you have on Facebook or Twitter. Also, you can go ahead and do that in Safari. So if we load up Safari, we can go ahead, release to refresh, and it'll go ahead and refresh the page, things like that. Um, it's very simple, but it's, like I said, very effective, and it's easy to use. Um, you don't really have to think about it, and it'll refresh. Next here we have is YearTube. YearTube 2. Um, there was YearTube 1. Let's go ahead and go back. 
Um, I have some, I guess, videos right here. Let's go ahead and go to, let's go to most viewed. And let's just do this Ray William Johnson video. And if you go to here, you can go ahead and hit download video, either high quality or low quality, or in some cases, HD. You can go down and you can download YouTube videos to your device and save them for later. Um, it's very cool, very effective, especially if you have a Wi-Fi only device, an iPod Touch, an iPad Wi-Fi. Download the videos and watch them later without an internet connection, and you can even add them to your iPod app now. So um, it's, up, it's been updated for iOS 4, and you can check that out too in the Cydia store. Next week we have here is Switcher Mod. Switcher Mod um, basically are, provides a couple of enhancements to the App Switcher. One of them being is you don't have to, when you bring up the App Switcher, you don't have to hold an icon and then have them wiggle to go ahead and delete them. You can simply, um, if I go back here, you can simply just hit the X on them really quickly. There are some other enhancements that it provides. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of those really quickly in the settings. But overall, um, let's see, switcher mod. Um, overall, it's just nice to have and it's free. So you can show, um, and it can, you can also show recent app icons, like if they're not actually running in the background, you can make them transparent or not even show up if they're not actually in the background. So that is, that is switcher mod. Next thing we have here is stay open. I find this to be helpful, especially when you're browsing through multiple apps. If we go to an app here, let's just go to the top free. Let's go ahead and solve Fruit Ninja Lite, even though I already have the full version. And as you can see, it says stay open. I'll go ahead and type in my password here. And once I type in my password, the app store will stay open and you can continue to browse the app store as you please. So, and if we go back, It'll go ahead and it's already downloading right there. So it's very nice to have, doesn't just exit you out of the app store. It's kind of like, just allows you to install multiple apps quicker. So that is stay open. Next week we have here is SB Rotator 4. Awesome, awesome, awesome tweak for uh, iOS. It allows you to go ahead and rotate your springboard. If we go ahead and uh, unlock the rotation here but allows you to go ahead and rotate your springboard in landscape mode and you can even use some of the apps in landscape mode like App Store. I'll go ahead and show you that. It'll even allow you to use the App Store in landscape mode. Doesn't work perfectly in landscape mode but especially when you're like looking at these screen so screenshots and such but overall it's still really cool that you can use some of these applications widescreen. So that is SB Rotator, a lot more to it than I have time to show in this video, but um, definitely check that out. Alright, next here we have is Safari Download Manager. Um, I may or may not have time to go ahead and show you something. Um, looks like I'm not going to have time to show you, but either way I'll go ahead and briefly talk about it. Um, as you can see, I have downloads right here. So if you, you can now download files on your iPhone or iPad to your iPhone device directly. Um, if you go to a download website, you're downloading music, an application that you want to go ahead and load on your computer later, you can do it on your iPhone on the go with Safari Download Manager and save them wherever you'd like. You can even browse the file with um, iFile if you have that installed. So that is Safari Download Manager. Last thing we have here, which um, was also briefly talked about in Switcher Mod, is Remove Recents. Um, remo remove Recents is just a simple tweak that if the application does not support multitasking, it will not show up in this bar, or if it's not actually in the background. Is eventually these apps will just be thrown out of, I believe it's the RAM or the cache, something like that, and they'll just go ahead and put them away so they don't take up as much RAM. This will only show applications that are already running, um, that way you don't have applications that aren't in the background and such. Just kind of cleans it up. So those are my top 20 jailbreak apps of 2010. Hope you guys liked them. Hope you guys check them out in Insidia because they are ones that I use every day and that make up this awesome iPhone right here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX for important news on giveaways and um, various information. And then go ahead and add me on Game Center. The icon's right there at App OSX. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.